Hello, my dear students, and welcome back to my class. The topic of today's lesson, Joshua installed as a leader. In today's lesson, we are going to explain how Moses and Israelites entered Transjordan, find out who was installed as a leader after the death of Moses, and how Israelites crossed Jordan all the way towards to Canaan. When Moses and Israelites left Egypt in order to get to Canaan, the Promised Land, they had to cross three Transjordanian kingdoms, the kingdom of Edom, Moab, and Ammon. Transjordan lay east of the Jordan River, mostly contained in present-day Jordan. <coughs> so what is Canaan? Canaan is a biblical name of the Promised Land. So how did Moses and Israelites cross Transjordan? When we refer to the Old Testament, there is a clear evidence uh, that Moses and Israelites entered tra Transjordan and God has ordered them to cross all three kingdoms peacefully. When Moses and Israelites uh, got to the kingdom of Moab, um, God has promised to give the promised land to his de descendants. And again, uh, if we refer to the Old Testament, Moses died on Mount Nebo and was buried in Moab land in the 4th century, a small monastery was built by Egyptian monks on the mountain peak in memory of Moses, now called M M Memorial Church of Moses. After Moses has passed away on the Mount Nebo, Joshua, a new leader of Israelites installed by God, was commanded to, to continue Exodus. Joshua started leading Israelites towards the Promised Land.